Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So we're doing what's called the track knot paracord bracelet. So this was shared by a uh, fellow paracordist on Instagram. I'm going to link his uh, Instagram handle right here and I can't pronounce it. So I, and I really don't want to butcher it. So anyways, um, yeah, this I believe is an original design by him and yeah, this is what it looks like. So overall, the pattern on this um, is actually quite simple to do. It's very similar to the, what's it called? The gear wheel paracord bracelet kind of, but it's like very similar in principle. Anyways, um, it's a four strand core, pretty thin, not too um, thick in profile. But overall, really, really nice pattern. And I love the way this one turned out. All right, so guys, remember to check out the affiliate links down below for where I get my paracord and whatnot using the video. And uh, every time you shop through those, you're helping, this, helping out the channel greatly. So I always appreciate that. All right, so that being said, guys, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so I got my paracord ready and I've got two single strands, or sorry, two uh, single cow's hitch strands. If that makes any sense. So these are not connected. As you can see here, cow's hitch here, cow's hitch here. That's one strand of paracord and then another strand, one cow's hitch here, one here. Okay, so these are separate. You can do them linked together if you want. I'm going to put both tutorials on how to do a four strand core like this. I'll link that in the description down below as always. So we've got that. And now I've got my paracord. I'm working with uh, licorice. Yeah, this is silver diamonds. This is the licorice. Got it on a fid here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get started. So um, we're going to start by working. I'm going to go through the two cow's hitches here. Actually, I'm going to take this off real quick to show you we've got the two cows hitches here we're going to go through right here Oops, sorry so i see how there's that gap there we can go right through here and this is where we're going to kind of anchor our paracord okay so get that through there So I've got about nine and a half feet. That's a lot more than I'll actually need. I did the math on this one and it's roughly um, 1.33 feet of paracord per foot. Sorry, 1.33 feet of paracord per inch of bracelet. I know that's really weird, but that's based on my math. Um, that's how much it should take. But you know what? Uh, trying to do your own experimenting because I'm terrible at math despite being Asian anyways okay here we go uh, that there okay so now we can start weaving the bracelet all right so from here you're going to take a strand your strand of paracord you're just gonna bring it over on top like this so this strand you can leave about an inch there just for uh, whatever you can snip and cinch that later it'll be secure though because these two cow stitches will hold it in so you're going to lay this over and now i've got my paracord on a fid you're going to go in between the first two strands here you're going to pull that all the way through get all your paracord through now bring this right about here so this end, this is gonna to wanna to curl up there. Don't, no need to pull it too tight. You can uh, secure it down later. So now from here, take your fid and go in between these two strands here, okay? So go through there and bring that all the way through. Okay, so from here, you can kind of bring this one, make it a little bit tighter. It's okay if it just sits like right there. All right, so we, we're out the back now. Now, go through the middle. See with the fit again. Go through the middle like this. Bring that all the way through. Like that. Then go above, above this cord and in between, right in the middle there. Okay. Pull that through. Can tighten that up a bit, push it up a little. And now, as you've guessed it, on the third set, go you know, through the middle here, bring everything through. 
like so. And then, as you guess it, we're going to go through the top here. So above the licorice strand here and in between the two licorice strands on the end. And make sure you're passing to the right of your strand here, like that. Okay, pull all this through. And that is kind of the first set of knots or pass. And now we're just going to kind of repeat. Okay, so bring your cord back over to the front and lay it across. And you're just going to repeat the same pattern. Okay, so lay the strand across like we did before. And you're just going to do the exact same pattern. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Pull this through here. Right, and just do the exact same thing. So now you can see a bit more clear. Now the gaps are there, but through the top, and bring that through. Helps if your cord isn't all twisted like mine. Anyways. So yeah, just do that. And you can kind of work the slack out as you go. Um, let's see what I'm doing there. Or do what, do what I did in the first one, pull it tight and then uh, weave it through. Anyways, uh, same thing. So remember, go through the middle here, bring all that through, and then through the top. Now remember, make sure to pass um, on the right side of the cord. If the cord gets over here and you go under it, that might screw it up. So make sure you keep that down there. Bring that through. Apologize for that. I need to untwist my cord. Okay, there we go. And then last part again, go up through here. To make it a bit faster, you can just go through one like this, you know, and then continue through here. I've just been going step by step to show you a bit more clear. That's kind of what I meant. Anyways, do that. And see, there we go. And we have two passes. That's pretty much the pattern. Very, very simple for this one, actually. Just um, a little bit more time consuming. So uh, continue doing that pattern as you go along. I'd say do your best to keep um, all the slack out as usual. You want to keep those weaves nice and tight. So I'm going to make my way down my bracelet and then uh, we'll finish it off near the end. All right, so I've woven down to the end of my bracelet and I've taken it off the jig just to show you guys, make it a little bit easier. I'm going to do the last uh, last pattern here, sorry, last pass here. So let's go through here. I think my measurement was pretty good because I gave myself a little bit extra um, for length. I did the 1.33 times however many, um, you know, inches of brace that I needed. And it's not too bad. I gave myself an extra half a foot just because I love wasting paracord. No, <laughs> I just want to make sure I have enough. But uh, I think it's pretty accurate. But I will, of course, annotate at the very beginning of the video exactly how much I used for this length of bracelet, as I always do. Okay, so last one goes through here. Sorry if I was drifting off camera. Just too busy talking. Okay, so final knot. Stitch goes through here. Doing this one really reminds me of the uh, Conquistador, which I have attempted in the past, but haven't done a tutorial on, but that's to come. Okay, so uh, we could snip and singe right here, but let's, let's pass it through right here. Let's do the exact same thing we did up here. I think that's pretty secure and aesthetically, I think it'll look okay. You could snip and singe right there, but that's not secure enough for, for me. Let's pass it through. It might be a little bit harder 
because now that we can't really stretch these um okay you know what i lied this will work a bit better so you look on the back here um i'm not going to go through here or oh, you could go through here i'm going to go through just these two middle loops here i think that'll be okay so just work it through these are the two kind of cows hitches here Let's see if we can get this guy through here well okay that was a bit of a struggle be careful when you're pushing on your fid by the way these can be a little sharp and you don't want to leave a circular indentation on your hand okay let's pull this through all the way like so i think that's pretty good we can just snip and cinch right there okay and then up top here snip and cinch here careful not to melt your plastic buckle if you're using one so yeah i'm just going to snip and singe uh, those ends and we'll be finished all right there we go done so got our paracord snipped off the excess there up top what i realized is you could probably start off the bracelet just like how we finished it you know you have it there you can start off there too but i just happened to do that because that's what i did <laughs> all right so uh there we have it guys this is the track knot and uh, remember to check out the associated Instagram account I linked earlier. Um, brother, I can't pronounce your name. I'm, I like to consider myself decently cultured, but I just can't. And I don't want to butcher it. So check out that Instagram account. And uh, uh, thank you so much, man, for sharing this uh, tutorial on Instagram so I could do a video about it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. I really like this one. It came out really nice. So remember, guys, check out all the affiliate links down below for the uh, where I get the paracord and stuff used in the video and uh yeah be sure to check out those affiliate links because when you shop through those you're helping with this channel go on and uh yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you on the next one bye